Hey guys, for today's project, we're going to be using the new Lemon Zest stamp and punch. Here is a sample card I made. So I used the this stamp to stamp out all the images in the background, kind of making my own DSP. And I used Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, and the new Lemon Lime Twist, which I love. And we'll be using those colors again today. I used some of the wood textured background DSP and I used the Daffodil Delight what is it called double stitched ribbon just as a little embellishment at the top here and it says if life gives you lemons squeeze it for all it's worth and I used my Versamark to stamp out the images just so there was a light image and you can still write over it without it covering up your writing so this is my sample card. We are going to do something different with the card I'm going to make with you. But I wanted to give you guys an example of a couple things you could do. So obviously you will need your lemon zest stamp, the punch, some scraps of Whisper White, a Whisper White card base. It's A2 size, five and a quarter by four and a fourth. I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter when it is scored and folded and I'm bringing in the brand new what is this called layered leaves dynamic textured impressions embossing folder that's a mouthful so this is the uh, embossing folder that's really thick and these folders in comparison to the regular folders give you a deeper impression more 3d you also have to put them differently in your big shot and there are instructions in here if you have one I went ahead and took some lemon lime twist and went ahead and embossed it just to save time. Now if you notice on this image, you have three different colors. You have a really dark to a really light and then a medium. And that is three different depths of embossing if that makes any sense. So if we look at this, we see that the medium color seems to emboss the most. I'm sorry, the lighter color. And then the darker color doesn't emboss as much. So you have different levels of embossing. Obviously these two are embossed differently and then you have these. So it gives it that extra dimension and texture which is really cool. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my sentiment so I will bring in other supplies for that. But until then let's go ahead and get started with our card. You know me, I'm always bringing in supplies. Obviously you're going to need some sort of adhesive which I haven't decided on what I'm using yet. So what I want to do first is I want to take my Whisper White and I want to go ahead and stamp out all my images. And just a reminder, the ink colors we're using are Lemon Lime Twist, Daffodil Delight, and Pumpkin Pie. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm not sure what I want to use just yet. How many, I mean, I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out two. One in the Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm using my solid lemon or lime image. And I'm not going to worry about that too much. That's my own fault. I dipped it too much in the ink. But the punch will, when the punch cuts it out, that won't even show. And then I want to go ahead and stamp it in Daffodil Delight. Same thing. That is my error, not the punch or the stamp because my stamp wasn't doing that earlier. All right, there are my two pieces of fruit. Now I want to, now you don't have to do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way. I just go ahead and punch out the leaves. And then I just stamp the leaves after being punched out. Now. These are red rubber, they're not clear, so this could be a little tricky, but um, I'm just gonna take my chances. <laughs> and I'm using Lemon Lime Twist to do this. Now what I want to do is I'm going to, let's see, 
I'm going to take my sliced image, I guess we can call it, take my pumpkin pie and go ahead and stamp that. I'm going to take my lemon lime twist. All right. I may come back and stamp a Daffodil Delight. I am not sure. Now what's cool about these circles is that the stitched, I'm sorry, the layering circles or the stitched layering circle framelits will cut them out if you find the right, there we go, the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and die cut these out. Now if you have a punch, I'm not sure what, about an inch and a half maybe punch, it will punch those out. The die I used did not leave a white border. In my sample card, I used the stitch framelit. Since it was, I stamped my sentiment on there. That's how I did it. So let's see how we want to put our card together. I am going to go ahead and take some glue dots and attach my leaves to the lemon and lime. All right, I've gone ahead and taken a piece of the wood textures and I just cut this out. It's three quarters of an inch strip and I'm just gonna adhere it to my card panel. I want a little bit of a rustic look and I think this, this obviously is perfect for that. The wood grain. And then I have this, it's pumpkin pie, so it matches perfectly, stitched edged ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a strip like that, just to kind of get a, give it some character. I am going to take my fast fuse for this though, so I can attach. Attach it to the back like that, and then wrap it around to the front. There, just like that. And then what I want to do with my orange is I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to try to cut it in a way that both halves have a little bit of a white border at the tops here. And I kind of want to. So we're going to pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Just two, and I'm going to leave room for the ribbon bulk. So like that. I'm going to pop my little line up. And then place my little orange slice maybe there, I guess. I'm gonna put those aside for now. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Okay, so what I did off camera was I just did another yellow lemon and daffodil delight. And I think I wanted to do my sentiment up here. And I'm going to stamp on there. So I chose to my main squeeze. I think that's cute. And I am stamping it up in pumpkin pie. So I want my sentiment to, my lemon to lay like that. So my sentiment will be stamped hopefully straight. There we go. And of course, I made that mistake again. All right, I had to restamp it because that would have bothered the living daylight out of me. So I'm just going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then I'll go ahead and add this little orange, but I'll add him flat. There we 
go. I think that turned out pretty cute. So here are the two cards for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please note that all supplies will be listed below. And um, if you do place an order until the 23rd of $75 or more and you use the hostess code, you have to use the hostess code, you will get a sample of Fresh Florals DSP. And I would so appreciate your business if you do not have a demonstrator. The new catalog, if you have not had a chance to look at it, is amazing. I think you will find a lot of great things in there. So please check that out. And if you have any questions on anything I did today or joining Stampin' Up! or placing an order, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. And I will catch you guys next time.